uh, from across the pond. Somewhere across the pond. <laughs> I, would, I, I got some video to, to share. I, I don't know, wasn't on the air like Roland. I was I playing so. amateur uh, photographer though uh, today. This is in Wild Rose Park over by Black Canyon Reservoir. And this is what was really cool. The, the leaves, as the eclipse uh, progressed, the leaves, the shadows were really strange. Now this is time lapse. I didn't want to make you sit through the whole thing. But this is uh, the time lapse as it gradually gets dark there. And it was just such a cool feeling to look up and, and see, see the ring around the moon, the, the, the ring, and then also the stars that came out. And there it is as it goes away. Mm. My camera wasn't that great, so I couldn't, get, I couldn't actually get a picture of, of the rings, because once it went into totality, mm -hmm. it was just gone. It's totally cool. I can understand why people want to travel and chase these eclipses mm -hmm. around the world because it really does stir up a lot of emotion. And, and you were here in the Treasure Valley, yeah. so you weren't in the path of totality, but the path of totality. No, I was in the path of totality. I was up past um, Emmett, so I was. Oh, okay, totality. you were north of Emmett. Yeah. Oh, then you got in the path, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so it was just, it was just so, all I could say is just, my hands were sweaty, my heart was pounding. <laughs> and I was, and you're thinking, is this gonna happen? Is yeah. This, yeah. When is it gonna happen? It's not happening yet. And then all of a sudden, boom. It just happens. Yeah. Really cool. Well, and as you're watching through the camera, as it, as it starts to carve out more and more of the sun, it's really not having an effect around you. I mean, it, right. the light is starting to dim a little, but boy, that, that last few percentage points, and boom, yep. then you, you feel like, wow, who turned out the lights? And your eyes are compensating for the darkness, yeah. and you're going, is it really getting dark? Yeah. And then all of a sudden it happens. It is really yeah. dark. It really was neat. Okay, folks, hope you enjoyed the great American eclipse. Now, let's see, when's the next one? Mm, I think it's years. like, uh, tw is it 2045 or something like that? Uh, 2024, when is it? Nicole? I think. Hmm. Not we'll, around we'll here. We'll research that. 90 oh, I've got 90 seconds for weather. Oh, I better hurry up. Sorry, we were eclipsing out here on 2 News Live. Uh, 86 degrees outside right now. We have a little bit of hazy sunshine in the air. That's because the haze is a little bit of smoke that's blowing in. So Boise and Nampa have moderate levels of pollution. Everyone else is doing just fine. Watching this, here we are in the gem state. Look at this little batch of moisture coming up from Las Vegas and up toward the Wasatch Front. That's a little shower activity that's probably going to be affecting us here by Wednesday, late Wednesday and possibly Thursday. So clear skies through tomorrow. Expect hotter temperature readings. Shower chance on Wednesday and Thursday. Just a 20 to 30 percent chance of some showers and then it's going to be a beautiful weekend once again. So the high pressure is going to keep us hot, actually hot and dry tomorrow with temperature readings approaching the upper 90s. We're going to be watching this little feature right up here in the Gulf of Alaska. This is a developing front and that front is going to work its way into the region and when it does again as it approaches we may see a slight chance of some showers maybe even a couple of isolated thunderstorms but you are going to notice cooler temperatures let's jump right to the seven day forecast for the treasure valley 95 degrees tomorrow under sunny skies and then on wednesday 91 degrees so there's a mixture of sunshine and clouds a slight chance of some showers on wednesday and thursday as that front in the gulf of alaska approaches and then on Friday, 88 degrees on Saturday, 92, and on Sunday, 96. So it's going to be hot. It's going to be beautiful once again this weekend, much like what we had last weekend. So gorgeous. But now we could uh, start looking forward to the upcoming holiday. Yeah. Yeah, oh, not right. this weekend, but Labor. the following weekend. Yeah. Yep. And BSU football. Oh, yes. BSU right. football. Yes. Right. Well, when 